All right, folks, today we have another keyboard review. Coming in, we have the K680T from AJAZZ. This is a Bluetooth wireless mechanical keyboard. And we have its big brother here, the K870T from AJAZZ. That's this keyboard down here. And we're gonna take a look at these two, see which one's right for you. Um, so first of all, let's look at the overall size. I have here a Skyloon SK61, this keyboard <clears throat> goes by a number of different names uh, from different uh, sellers and um, yeah it's a really nice keyboard uh, both of these are actually marketed as 60% keyboards but you can see this is a, definitely a much smaller keyboard because it's missing the dedicated navigation keys and it also doesn't have this uh, page up page down insert delete cluster so this keyboard has a uh, Red switches, and quite honestly, this is one of my favorite keyboards to type on. The main problem is for day-to-day -day use, it's not that great because it lacks the dedicated navigation keys, and it also lacks any of these uh, other uh, page up, page down, home end, insert delete keys. So it's really difficult to use if you're like me and you're doing software programming or document processing. But otherwise, this is a great keyboard, okay? Now, this keyboard here, this is the K870, so this is the bigger brother of the K680. Uh, and this is also a really good keyboard. This is, you know, uh, we're gonna take a, we're gonna listen to this keyboard in a little bit and the differences in the two switches. Uh, but otherwise, if we look at the appearance and the overall size, you know, it's only about an inch of difference around the whole perimeter. In this case, this keyboard, of course, has the full uh, row of F keys. <clears throat> has this volume scroller here and has a full complement of keys here. You can see the main difference being this one has insert, delete, page up, page down. This one has insert, delete, home end, page up, page down, um, which, you know, these two keys are really great if you're doing any sort of productivity work, uh, programming, document processing, things like that, where you need to be able to select whole lines of text really quickly and conveniently. And of course, your brain might just be programmed to hit those keys, right? So definitely, if you're using one of these keyboards, you're gonna have to reprogram your brain and your hands a little bit to you know, do the right thing, okay? Um, now, let's talk about the overall appearance. So generally speaking, these two keyboards are almost identical, right? So of course, this keyboard has a little bit better markings, in my opinion, than this keyboard. The markings on this keyboard aren't necessarily very clear, which is strange because they're from the same manufacturer, right? Um, but the markings are different. So on this keyboard, for example, you know, there is a back tick key accessible here if you hit FN uh, and escape. And if you want the tilde, you can do FN shift escape. You can still get the tilde here. Um, unfortunately, these two insert delete keys, these two keys here can't be reprogrammed to home and end. I would have much preferred home and end here instead of insert delete myself, uh, but there's no option to do that. You can probably download a third party piece of software to do it for you to do the key mapping. Um, but uh, if you go on the website, HS website, there's no uh, ability to do that, okay? Now, the only other, you know, two physical differences on these keyboards, you know, the port is a little bit better designed on this keyboard. So on this keyboard, it's really difficult to get the cable into this port because of the tight tolerance. On this keyboard, it's much better for, you know, various types of plugs to fit into here. Um, other difference too is on this one, on this guy here, the button for the Bluetooth and the wire mode is here. Whereas on the 680, there's a dedicated switch on the back to go from wired to wireless mode, okay? Now let's talk about the USB capabilities here. Uh, both these keyboards are USB capable. I keep them plugged in at my desk to charge them. And both of the USB you know, connectivity is, they work great. Um, they don't drop the connection. Uh, you don't get ghosting of keys, so sometimes if you press a G, like on this keyboard, for example, sometimes if you press a key, you'll get ghost keys where it's just going to be a long string of G's if you hit the G key, for example, okay? That doesn't really happen with these key keyboards, okay? So the Bluetooth connectivity on these keyboards is really solid. Once it's connected, it stays connected. You don't have any funky behavior. Um, and that's really great if you want to use it in wireless mode. And this keyboard, if you turn off the lighting effects, the uh, battery lasts quite a while. I, I've used it for you know two days without having to recharge it at all. Um, so I think if you're looking for a wireless keyboard, you know, especially if you turn the lighting effects off, both these keyboards are really good. Okay. 
Um, the only difference I would say is that this keyboard is a little bit better at reconnecting if you switch between wired and wireless versus this keyboard where sometimes you have to repair this keyboard to get it to work, whereas this keyboard just seems to always be uh, always work when you switch when you hit the physical switch and you reconnect. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, you know take a look at uh, how these keyboards sound. And I'm gonna do a typing test with these two keyboards, and I'll do it with this one too, just for good measure, um, and give you an idea of how these keyboards sound when you use them. Okay. So we'll start with uh, K680, and this is a this keyboard has blue switches, so you're gonna hear the difference. Generally speaking, the blue switches are a little bit louder, uh, the brown switches are in between, and then this guy here with the red switches are the most silent, okay? So we're gonna do a typing test, I'm just gonna move this keyboard to the side, and we'll give it a listen, okay? Okay, so these are the blue switches. Uh, very satisfying to type on. I love the way it sounds, but of course, if you're working in an office, probably not ideal if you have other people sitting near you because it's definitely going to <laughs> it's definitely, definitely going to bother them, okay? So I'm gonna switch this over to one of these other keyboards here. So we're gonna switch it to the big brother here, uh, the 870, and you can see like this type tolerance makes it a little tricky, but there we go. And of course, you'll see one of the other differences between the uh, you know uh, 870 and the 680 is that the 870 has uh, multicolor LEDs, and it's really great because you can change the lighting effects really easily, and you have a lot of different options if that's your thing, right? Um, but let's take a listen to it. Um, of course, again, in this case, we have the brown brown switches. Okay, ready. Okay, so these are brown switches. Um, feel really good still. Um, for me, audibly, not quite as satisfying as the blue switches, but again, the brown switches are probably a lot better if you're working in an office environment with other people, right? Just for good measure, let's try the red switches. And I, you know, I'm really using this cable because not all of these keyboards are charged at the moment. I don't know their level of charge. So let's just plug it in. All right, ready, let's see. Okay, so these are red switches, and personally, I really love the way this feels, but it's really difficult to use, okay? So, which one should you get, right? The K680 here, honestly, is a great keyboard for, you know, general use, and again, if you're not doing intensive uh, productivity work, like programming, like I am, or document processing, uh, quite honestly, I think this is a really good keyboard. It's compact, you, you know, it's lightweight, you can take it anywhere with you. Um, and, uh, yeah, as long as you're not, uh, going to miss those keys, it's, this is a really great keyboard. Um, but what I would say though, is that if you go with this keyboard, you know, don't get the blue switches. If you're sharing an office space, be considerate, be considerate of your coworkers and your uh, office mates and, uh, get the brown switches or red switches. All right.